What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in on this uh, early Thursday morning, January 28th, 2021 is the date. 7.45 a.m. West Coast time, and going to do a just a quick update video. Didn't get a chance to get to one last night, uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and recap uh, a little bit of activity that happened yesterday um, on this uh, other page here. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Not a whole lot out here in the Western Pacific, if you check that out. Just a couple small uh, quakes out there around the Philippines area and into the Solomon Islands. Just a couple fours, a 5.0 right there near Papua New Guinea. Other than that, activity appears to be on the uh, quiet side for now. Of course, as we know, things like that uh, change pretty rapidly. Uh, checking out Hawaii still. No major events to report. Still some... Uh, uh, filling of the crater there at uh, Kilauea, uh, the rim area, in the crater area right there, and some movement down here near the uh, southeast part of the big island, but no major um, odd movement to report in that region. West coast, seeing a little bit of swarming out there in Southern California over the last 24 hours. You can see that movement down there south of the uh, um, end of this of the uh, san andreas fault of course the extensional fault system here called the brawley seismic zone is something to watch as well as that uh, no doubt has an effect on the uh, the big monster up here sleeping uh, to the north so a little swarming going on uh, near the salton sea just a couple ones or quite a few ones and some twos mixed in there at uh, some fairly shallow depths there about 2.4 kilometers for the majority and even down here to the south near near the Ellensnor Fault. Uh, of course, this specific fault runs pretty uh, lengthy throughout California here. Let's see, where is it up here? It runs up along this area. Stretches up here. Pretty slow moving when it comes to uh, building up pressure, but nonetheless uh, capable of producing some earthquakes. This cluster of swarming off the, uh, just off the area in kind of this... Um, shear type zone here uh this what's this called the what is that yuha wells fault i think we checked that out uh, a few days ago just a small little fracture of a fault there but uh that's where that swarming is taking place here at fairly deep levels too about uh deepest one 12 kilometers down so a little mixture of uh movement going on there below the surface latest quake this red circle 1.4 near borrego borrego springs there we go the caffeine's kicking in i hope uh let's see what else we got here ridgecrest still showing some activity and uh nevada as well some movement up here along the uh you know just west of concord san leandro area see a couple small quakes there can't really see exactly where these are located at for specific faults um and i'm sure there's some on or that's not on this map here the closest one's going to be the concord fault over here about three miles or so from this uh from this 1.2 and for the 2.1 uh calaveras fault <clears throat> sits over here about a mile and a half to the east uh, but no uh swarming just a couple small microquakes you know keep them i don't even know if they were felt i'm highly doubt it uh, some movement yesterday off the coast of northern cal there with the gorda escarpment region on the southern end here that was a uh what was that let's see exactly what it was can't remember exactly okay 4.6 that's right 2.2 kilometers pretty shallow in that earthquake uh, right there some pretty much surface type quaking there in the uh just south of the ridges all that those ridges are being built up by uh pressure no doubt over the uh over time due to the uh pacific plate and the juan de fuca plate and the north american plate kind of squeezing that area uh a little bit of activity up through montana and into utah as well looks like a small little earthquake out there southwest utah utah springdale utah 2.1 yellowstone national park uh did have a little bit of earthquake activity yesterday Nothing really to report today. You kind of see that uh, this little earthquake that showed up over here on the eastern side of the park. 
right here and then also a little small one down here as far as it showing up on the uh, USGS maps uh, let's see it looks like it did surprisingly <laughs> couple of them did 2.0 and a 1.6 but uh, other than that not a whole lot of swarming no major magma movement or anything like that there Yellowstone National Park Alaska still seeing just a sporadic earthquake activity in that major uh, area for earthquakes right kind of like California it's just always moving so for now uh, pretty mellow activity folks um, west coast I would say is kind of on the uh, the, on, the uplift right now uh, when it comes to earthquake activity kind of quieting down over here to the west and things appear to be picking up right now over here along the west coast region just some small quakes for the moment uh, the trimmer map from last night showed uh, let's see let's go ahead and get this up here there we go 350 epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone mostly confined to this big cluster in Vancouver Island or I should say underneath Vancouver Island down dip downstream of the um, Cascadia subduction zone there so some pretty large-scale movement along the entire length of the uh, of that Cascadia it's been pretty active here in southern Oregon and also northern California for trimmer uh, but to see this activity up there in the north part uh, of the region it just goes to show you that there's definitely some uh, large-scale pressure out there along the uh, Cascadia and the Juan de Fuca plate there so keep an eye on that region for sure 350 epicenters uh, what do we got going on folks a little well supposed to get some more rain out here today not a whole lot more but uh, some more nonetheless that low pressure system still sitting off the coast there of California going to provide us some more shower activity and then we got a little break on Friday before another big one comes in with a massive amount of snow um, over the weekend so going to be uh, pretty crazy it's good though we need the weather out here in California and uh, Southern California as well definitely needs some rain they got quite a bit of rain and some snow so uh, every little bit helps anyway folks have a good Thursday stay safe out there We'll chat you guys a little bit later tonight. Peace out.